welcome friends so we are discussing about uh, role of uh, filing of your ip in multiple locations we are looking for answers of two questions what to keep in your portfolio and where to keep your portfolio and we already discussed that there is no global patent however to facilitate your protection in different locations we have uh, two possible ways one is paris convention and another is pct we discussed that uh, paris convention can be useful when you want very fast protection in only one country or in those countries which are not part of pct signatories there are few countries for example our neighbor pakistan pakistan is not a signatory of pct and for example if you want protection in pakistan then the only route available to you is paris convention so sometime it is because of uh, these constraints also you can decide between paris convention and pct otherwise majority of international filing is happening through pct route now when we were discussing these things in our last session we discussed that uh, some good data that how pct filing or you can say international filing is happening in india and from india and at the global level so we are going to discuss these three different types of trends in today's session that uh, which type of companies are filing patents in india international filing what type of organizations in which sector indian companies are filing global patents and rest of the world how they are transacting with respect to international filing now as uh, we know that uh, pct is improving and in india also few years back uh, there was very little awareness about uh, global filing international filing in india and in fact in one of the session we already discussed that in 2014 in india we granted only around 4000 patents and now in 2024 we are touching 70000 plus marks so there is a significant increase in domestic patent so when the scenario was so dim of domestic patent in india it is very difficult to go for international patents or international filing from india but fortunately some awareness is happening in 2016 in india we got national ipr policy and this national ipr policy became very important in increasing the awareness about ip related matters and uh, one of the objective of this national ipr policy to make india ip savvy nation and under that uh, now pct filing global filing is also happening in india now through this pct filing our indian companies are able to take uh, global protection that we already discussed another very important thing because uh, capital required and many indian companies they continuously suffer because of the capital issues so we are very cost sensitive country and therefore this pct route also gives you the advantage of uh, low cost of filing because you are going for only single examination single publication we discussed in one of the session that there is a international phase and in that international phase you automatically get the benefit of uh, examination publication etc and you need not to go for paying the cost again and again which happens in case of paris convention so therefore the low cost is a major advantage of pct which is uh, very much beneficial for developing nations like india it also streamlines your application process because single application which you are filing to isa that is considered across the all signatory nations otherwise if you go to different countries separately 
there are different forms and uh, they may require different annexers that will create more complications. So, the process becomes much simpler and in fact, it is quite possible if you are slightly aware, you yourself can file your application for foreign filing. Access to international market, few years back we were not so global markets. Now, we all know supply chains, we are becoming global supply chains. You are procuring raw material from a different country, manufacturing in a different country and market in a different country. So, obviously, you will require protection in all those countries which are part of your business activities. And uh, therefore, with global filing, you are able to get access and not only access, but protection also. So, that is also a benefit or the reason for increasing the IP activities on the international label from Indian organizations. Very few companies were there at the global label from India uh, to name a few like uh, TVS, Bajaj, etc. These were the companies which were operating at the international markets from India. But now, even startups are also doing their businesses in the global market. So, therefore, it is a very important thing that uh, how you are protecting at the global level and also uh, we discussed that uh, when you are going for fire and filing, you get collaborators. When you get collaborators, uh, these collaborators help you in accessing the international market. And uh, obviously, with more collaboration, more access to market, more access to grant, it will help you in technological advancements and economic growth. So, all these things are helping India. Since I am talking only in India's context, so I am taking the name of India, but any country will take the benefit of all these reasons if they are going for foreign filing. And considering the importance, like many Indian companies these days, they are going to African areas. African countries are very important market for large number of Indian organizations. Some of the Indian organizations are going to Latin American companies also, countries also. So, all these unexplored markets are attractive markets for many Indian organizations and before they go there, they want to keep protection for their IP. So, that is the reason IP at the international level from India is also increasing. You can see this data here. Now, from 2018-19 to 22-23, though if you see this data, you will not find much change because the number is fluctuating somewhere around plus minus 1000. But when you see the number that uh, how individual IP at the global level is reducing and the IP done by the organizations, legal entity that is increasing. It was 630 in 1890 and in 22, 23, this number has increased to 746. So, this is important uh, finding that uh, now organizations, because they see business interest, they are going for global filing. And individuals, they have realized that this is a cost. So, global filing PCT or after that the national phase, it requires huge investment also. So, it is a cost. So, therefore, individuals are not getting the number is decreasing from 336 to 263, while in the same period organizations, companies, their number is increasing with respect to international filing. And uh, this is partially because of uh, more startups. Here, the role of startup is also there, which are uh, increasing, which are contributing in this global filing. There are large number of uh, manufacturers in China. Many of the Indian companies getting their products manufactured in China. So, obviously, before you give your design to your manufacturer in China, 
you need to protect your design, your invention in the Chinese markets. Otherwise, it will be easy to copy in the China and the manufacturers, they will uh, duplicate your product and they may send it to some other uh, developing nations. So, therefore, when Indian companies are getting their products manufactured in China, they certainly need to protect their product before they give their designs, their inventions to the local outsourced manufacturers. And uh, that type of wisdom is now coming in our Indian companies. And in fact, this becomes a very important point also. In the current business environment, outsourcing is a very important phenomena. Organizations outsource some of their non so value adding activities or those things which are not core competence of the organization. Many Indian organizations, they have competency in R&D activities. They are developing new products, but they do not want to create a setup for manufacturing of those products because it requires lot of capital investment. So, many Indian R&D organizations, new product development activities, they are outsourcing manufacturing to Chinese organizations. It is a common phenomena. A very popular Indian brand, some of you must be using that brand for this class also, Boat. It is a very popular Indian brand. Now, Boat used to design all its variables in India, but before COVID, their 100 percent manufacturing was happening in China. So, they had to protect all their inventions in China to minimize the scope of copying or unauthorized use of their designs. But now another wisdom is coming because when they are outsourcing the manufacturing to other nation, a lot of uh, scope of uh, copying was there because prosecuting in those country will be a costly affair. So, what they are doing as part of their business which was 100 percent outsourced in other countries. Now, around 70 percent presently is in house in India and only 30 percent is manufactured in other countries. So, when you are getting the nuances of uh, international business, you take uh, decisions either to protect their or to use your IP in your own country and develop the relative facilities to facilitate your business interest. So, Boat's example is a very perfect example of your IP portfolio management and accordingly linking this portfolio with your business strategy. Then we can also discuss the examples of some of the popular companies which are uh, doing lot of filing from India in uh, other countries. As I already mentioned, TVS Motor Company is uh, one of the leading organization automobile company in two wheeler sector. And since TVS has a lot of market in uh, African countries and uh, therefore, they became one of the top filers from India in case of uh, global filing. CSIR is a R&D organization. It has multiple labs in country and they are primarily into various research and development activities. So, because of the mandate of government of India, they also do lot of uh, PCT filing, but they do PCT filing in collaboration of uh, some of the person, some of the organization in those nations, because uh, CSIR on its own cannot do the business. And uh, let me also again say you that we do not do PCT or we do not do international filing just for the sake of uh, global patents. We should have a clear cut business mandate in those countries. We should have possible markets, we should have possible competitors or some kind of supply chain interest in those countries, then only we should go for foreign filing. Otherwise, uh, it is a very wrong choice 
in my portfolio management to go for PCT international filing without having any direct business benefits. Hindustan Petroleum Limited is another Indian company which is doing a lot of uh, global filing because they are also having a, a lot of uh, supply chain in the international arena. They are uh, outsourcing lot of crude oil, they are into petroleum products and uh, where they have a huge business interest in various uh, Gulf countries, Russian areas, they have uh, interest in uh, uh, Latin American areas also. So, for that purpose, uh, they are also one of the top filers of PCT from India. If you see that how over a period of time, this is a detailed graph which is uh, mentioning that uh, filing of applications from India. Now, in 1989, 1999, 2000, there was a slightly bad period when uh, dip in the patent filing when India joined the PCT. So, at that time, there was a sudden decri uh, decline from around 9000 to 5000. But since then, continuously patent filing is increasing in India and uh, India is therefore, now coming among the top 15 countries which saw the fastest growth in PCT filing in 2023. So, now because of the global interest coming from India, we are uh, doing lot of PCT filing and uh, you can see the there is a sudden increase in number from uh, 2012, 13 to 13, 14 and all this period. You can also relate this to the business environment because uh, when the environment is positive, you actually can do business with uh, so many global organizations uh, when there is a exchange of uh, work between you and your uh, partners in other countries, when you can go to global markets, uh, all these things actually facilitate the global filing of your inventions and that is the reason we see that uh, how this is a huge jump from around uh, 17,500 to close to 43,500. So, it is a significant jump more than two times and uh, now consistently we are hovering around uh, 45,000 to 50,000 between that range uh, India's PCT filing is happening and uh, it is continuously increasing and uh, the important lesson out of this that more and more companies in India looking to become a global organization. So, in our IP portfolio apart from what type of IP assets you are having, you also need to consider PCT or in fact uh, global filing as a important question always. Whether I am going for global filing or not going for global filing, that is one important reason all the time. Now, other situation also. Now, different companies are also filing in India and uh, you see the top companies which are filing in India uh, for their foreign patents, these are companies like Qualcomm, Samsung, Huawei, Ericsson, Microsoft, uh, etc. So, up to this point you see, these are the companies organizations and uh, by seeing their names, you can understand that in India, most of the patents which are done by foreign companies are in the area of communication, information technology, electronics, because India is one of the fastest growing market for mobile devices. We are one of the fastest market for IoT devices and these organizations Qualcomm, Samsung, Huawei, Philips, Ericsson, Microsoft, etc. They are doing their lot of R&D efforts in the field of communication technology, information technology, mobile technology, IoT, etc. And uh, it is a very, very huge competitive market. All the companies in the world are looking to protect their inventions in this part of the world and uh, therefore, 
it becomes a direct answer to the question that uh, which is the major interest in Indian market and uh, electronics and communication is the major interest in the Indian market. Intuitively, I was thinking that uh, pharmaceutical should be the major attraction, but when you see the data, it gives you a different picture that pharmaceutical is not that important area for foreign filing in India, while electronics and communication is the more important area by the terms of foreign filing in India. When we talk of Indian organizations which are filing international patents, so as I mentioned about CSIR, so this is a combination of various laboratories of uh, CSIR across the country. Another is the public sector company PSU, BHEL, then this TCS which is a private organization, this is PSU and this is R&D. So, you see that uh, and uh, then fourth is four, fifth, sixth, all these are the private organizations. So, at top three, it is very interesting that you have a variety of companies, organizations which are leading India in terms of uh, foreign filing. CSIR is a government of India R&D institution, BHEL is a PSU and TCS is a private organization in the field of IT, IT services. And therefore, in India, we can say that we have potential of foreign filing across the sectors. It covers not only a particular sector, CSIR has inventions in the field of uh, physics, chemistry, material science, building technology, petroleum and so on. BHEL which is uh, in heavy machinery and other engineering stuff, TCS is in the field of softwares, IT services. So, and then TVS Motors comes which is in the field of uh, automobile technology, then Tata Steels come which is in the field of metallurgy and material processing. So, we are not giving any particular sector from India, almost all the sectors in India are looking for global filing. So, if you are in India, it is uh, quite obvious that uh, irrespective of sector, you can have uh, global finding because Indian inventions are becoming popular across the globe. When you see, so we already discussed two aspects that what type of global filing is happening in India and second we discussed that uh, how Indian organizations are filing global patents. Over WIPO's data, now what is happening at the international level that is the third aspect. So, if I see the WIPO data, which is the most authentic data, the patents are increasing by 3.5 millions at the global level, utility models 3 millions, trademark by 15.5 millions, industrial designs 1.5 millions. So, across the globe, there is a increase in different types of IP activities. If you see the bottom of this slide, it says that patent filing worldwide is growing by 1.7 percent in 2022. So, there is a increase in global patent filing, while trademark and industrial design filing activity dropped by 14.5 percent and 2.1 percent respectively. Now, patent filing across the globe has reached 3.46 million mark which is a huge number in itself and uh, this utility model which is you can say a subset of patent which is uh, also growing at the rate of 2.9 percent and uh, touching close to 3 million. So, patent and utility models are growing while trademark and industrial design have declined in last uh, one year in WIPO's data. Going further into this uh, data, you will see that uh, 
the word applications uh, which WIPO office is processing, majority of that is coming from China only. China is a major, major contributor to the global patent filing and uh, 85 percent of the all patent filing occurred in the IP offices of China, USA, Japan, Korea and EPO. So, this much data, so China is obviously the most important, but if you put China, US, Japan, Korea and European patent office, these are taking care of 85 percent of global patent filing. And uh, China alone is contributing close to just less than 50 percent, close to 46.8 percent. So, you can understand that uh, how in a big way China is contributing to the global IP activities because uh, uh, and it is true also because China is having global business interest. You can travel to USA, you can travel to Europe, you can come to India, you can go to Japan, you go anywhere and all the markets are flooded with Chinese products. So, China has a global business interest that way and when you have global business interest, you need to protect your IP, you need to protect your R&D new products in all these markets. So, obviously, it becomes uh, important and necessary for Chinese organizations uh, to go for global filing of their IP and that is the reason that uh, China is the major filer of global patents because it is directly collaborating with their business interest. Other countries may not have that type of business interest in every other country of the world, therefore their numbers are less and uh, you see India is not part of these 85 percent and that means that uh, India's interest at the global level though we discussed that how number is increasing, but out of all the numbers uh, India is still not a very significant contributor to the uh, basket of the global IP, but I hope uh, situations will change uh, over a period of time. Now, the same data which we just discussed is presented in slightly more different form where you can see that uh, China is close to 16 lakh patents at the global level, 1.62 million patent application. Then the office of uh, US, Japan, Korea and European Union and these are the important uh, offices which are uh, contributing around 92 percent of the total IP created at the global level and uh, in fact, uh, India is also appearing in this top 10 countries list. Uh, in previous slide, we discussed that how these 5 offices are contributing around 85 percent and then if I combine these 10, these are contributing around 91.6 percent and then India also comes into that list. So, but if you see the difference between India and uh, China, you see difference between India and other countries. So, there is a natural break here 77,000 and European Union 193,000 and then uh, China is touching 1.6 million. So, there is a significant gap and therefore, IP strategy, IP portfolio management for Indian organization becomes very, very important. If you consider IP important asset, then only you will be able to take the benefit of uh, your intellectual property, your creation of uh, R&D efforts, uh, new product development uh, at the global level. So, with this, we understood some of the important trends at the global level, we understood the trend at the India level and in India level, we understood that uh, information technology, communication technology, electronics uh, that is the most attraction for the global filing 
and when we see from India, we are unable to identify any particular sector. We saw that uh, IT related patents are also getting filed at the global level, heavy engineering related patents are also filed at the global level, automobile sector is also filing and then R and D organizations are also filing at the label uh, at the global level. So, there is no clear cut uh, uh, you can say sector for which we can say that this is the sector which is dominating from India at the global level. But third important thing which is most important of this session that uh, how China is big brother in the global filing and which is followed by US, Japan, Korea and uh, European Union offices which are contributing around 85 percent of the uh, global patent filing. And with this, we come to end of this particular session. Thank you very much.